So Dave, you recently got a culture watcher from us. I, believe. I did indeed. I love it. Great. You got the Super 15 model? I did indeed, yeah. Right. Yeah, because uh, I suppose my primary use for it is um, actually on the MEX bus. Really? Um, okay. I started looking for something that could give me analog volume. Uh, I was getting I was getting mixes from America from Chris Lord Alge on the Manic Street Preachers and from Michael Brower on um, Roger Daltrey album I did. Yeah. And the thing that struck me about them was they had all the punch and the dynamics right. um, that I would expect, but they were analog loud. They clearly hadn't been put through a yeah. digital limiter. They yeah. were just the, 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 they impressed me so much they were happy to stand behind the mix to such a great extent and not send it out smashed to pieces so right. it would be as loud as as it was after it was mastered. And and I thought it would be great to be able to achieve that amount of volume but still retaining dynamics and power yeah um and so that started me on a search for the boxes that could uh, help me in that yeah that's interesting the way we um the way the way the watcher sort of came into being was that it was quite kind of quite distorted uh, mm. all the time when, when we made the first units yeah we were experimenting with how useful that might be and as time went on, people who got hold of the units were saying they, they loved that aspect of it, but cleaning it up was actually something that would, was beneficial yeah, it's, as well. it's, it's brilliant. That was the thing that shocked I, I knew that it would be great, you know, for all the fun stuff, you know, yeah. the, the, the um, plugging a guitar in and getting territorial pissings guitar sound. Right. You know. But it shocked me how good it was on the mix. And you, you find that um, as we're all obviously using DAWs to record and to mix, mm -hmm. that that's kind of something you need to keep searching for is how to... I still believe that. very, very much in an analog mix chain. I mean, yes, we all have to have, um, you know, recallability. Um, everybody's having 10 mix revisions of every mix. So, you've yeah. got, you know, to a certain extent, you've got to be able to get a mix back in you know, sub five minutes. Yeah. But I, I I, still believe that the actual mix bus chain it really benefits from coming out, going through some proper stuff right. and going back in. Uh, I love plugins. Um, I use a ton of them in, in the mix, but I do believe in analog summing and analog mix bus. Great. Great. And you've got um, a Super 15, which that uh, basically differs from a standard uh, Vulture, which has basically got all the same basic settings like triode and pentode and actually pentode too um, and the ability to sort of ch alter the bias and get different yep. kind of curve to the, the way the distortion happens um, but your super 15 model has got uh, extra positions for the overdrive switch and also the, the function switch has a lot of extra which, which are remarkable. The um, particularly the presence lift. Um, I found yeah. when I was recording drums, I had a, a pair of coals up for rim mics, um, ribbon mics. Oh yeah. Um, and they sounded kind of good, but like a little bit lifeless. And yeah. I, and I put it on the plus ten with the mid lift, and it was like night and day. Okay, Absolutely right. astounding. I was <laughs> never going to not do that, you know. And it's not like it's distorted. It's not like, of course, you can do the crunchy extreme thing, and that's great. Yeah. But it's just, it's it's forward. Yeah. You know, it's it's just really, really, really good. Yeah, it's perhaps one of those boxes that you. It's a little bit hard to describe what it does sometimes. Because when you get yeah, to call it a posh distortion box is to do a, a disservice. Yeah. It's it's, um, it's really a harmonic nicifier. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. And I suppose it's you, you using saturation to create uh, EQ and compression. It's, right. it's a way of getting around EQ and compression, you know, because yeah. it's going to brighten, it's going to solidify the low mids, yeah. and uh, it's going to uh, certainly limit it, you know, right. uh, which is where the volume comes from. It's maybe quite nice that it does that um, all within inside one unit. 
Yeah. And it, it sort of does it for you. You don't have to make set a compressor at exactly the right setting. Exactly. A limiter the right exactly. setting. It just sort of happens and exactly. you can have more or less of it. Yeah, exactly. It right. just takes out those digitally peaky bits yeah. that can that can reduce the overall volume of your mix, you know, and 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 I find myself now I'm not sending out mixes with L two on. I'm just uh, you oh, really? know I'm just, no, absolutely no, I'm I'm happy with the volume of my mix. It looks, you know, yeah. proper. And I, you know, and I want the I want the artist and the record company to hear it as it is, not not with some kind of fake okay. half-assed mastering. I'm not a mastering engineer. I right. don't want to. I don't want to do that. You know. Yeah, yeah. You just want to musically. I want them to hear it how it is. You know? Right. So whereabouts in the chain does it go then? On your after the compressor uh, right. and after the, and after the EQ. So uh, I go into a compressor, then I go into a Swift Thermionic e, uh, EQ. Yeah. Uh, and then it goes uh, into the culture vulture. Okay. Um, so and then it goes into a tape um, simulator thing that have a Roger right. box. Right. Um, and those four things do everything I need. I don't need any any plugins on my mix bus at all. Right. Fantastic. So for more individual instruments or, or recording, yeah, when I'm, when I'm recording, I'm using it in a in a in a much more uh, visceral way or a more creative way. Yeah. Um, I love it for um, like a whirly, you know, for just driving it, giving it a little a little okay. hair around its balls. Okay. Uh, Uh, it's great on vocals, you know. Right. Um, yeah. You know, certainly in a parallel way, um, in a mix. You know, you've got this great thing. Let's stick some stuff through it and see how. Yeah, it, sure. See yeah. what happens, you know. Right. Yeah. <laughs>